This weekend's Emilia Romana Grand Prix will play host to a new qualifying format, being trialed ahead of the 2024 season. But don't worry, this isn't Sprint Race 2.0. This might actually have a positive change to the sport. As Formula 1 continues towards its aim of financial and environmental stability, reducing the number of tyres used over a Grand Prix weekend is up next for attention. So what is the new qualifying format, and what do the drivers think of it? Let's check it out. Formula 1 qualifying is, for many fans, the highlight of the weekend. In qualifying, any driver can put in an incredible lap and either finish way higher than expected, or have an awful few laps and get knocked out way earlier than they should. Over a whole race distance, the quality of the car starts to shine through, and as laps times average out, drivers are more likely to finish where they should. During qualifying, though, almost anything can happen over just one lap. So anything that might change how qualifying works is a worry for many fans, and that includes the new format for Imola. As part of an effort to reduce the number of tyres that are brought to Grand Prix, at two races this year, one being this weekend, an experiment will take place for a new qualifying format. The number of tyre sets available to each driver for the weekend will be reduced from 13 to 11, and there will be a new approach for qualifying. Currently, drivers are completely free to choose which tyres are used in the three segments of qualifying, but at these two events, the compounds will be mandated. Drivers will be forced to use hard tyres in Q1, mediums in Q2, and then softs in Q3. If any of the sessions are declared wet, then tyre choice will become free. So if Q1 has to be run in intermediate tyres, but then the track dries out during the course of the session, the drivers could use whatever compound they wanted for Q2 and Q3. Under the experiment, drivers will have access to three sets of hards, four sets of mediums, and four sets of softs for the entire weekend. The idea is that drivers will have six sets of tyres available for qualifying and five to juggle between practice and the race. The second trial of this new qualifying format will likely take place around the time of the summer break, which will then give Pirelli and the teams time to analyse if the experiments have worked and if the format can become the norm from potentially as early as 2024. So what is the reason behind the change, and how could it shake up qualifying and races? Like I said earlier, Formula 1 is trying to reduce the number of tyres they use to save money and the environment. Currently, teams have 13 sets of dry tyres available over a weekend, and if needed, 4 sets of intermediate tyres and 3 sets of wet tyres. The new plan will see the teams given 2 less sets of dry tyres. This is 8 tyres less per driver per race, meaning in a 23 race season there will be 3,680 less tyres used in the new regulations. Those tyres have to be transported to races as well, so not only are you reducing the amount of tyres used, you're also reducing the amount of freight that the sport carries around the world. It isn't a big enough change to save the planet from climate change, but all the little things that Formula 1 does like this will make a difference to the sport's environmental impact. In terms of money, a set of Formula 1 tyres is estimated to cost around $2,700, that means each team will be saving $10,800 per race, or $248,400 a season. That is a lot of money that can go straight into the team's yearly budget. While the effect on budgets and the environment are important for the teams, as fans, it's the racing that we care about most. So what will the effect be on that? During a normal Formula 1 qualifying session, teams will use a number of different tyre sets. The fresher the rubber, the faster you can drive. So during Q3, drivers will normally go through two sets of brand new soft tyres, which they will then reuse during the race. The new qualifying format won't change that, but what it will do is ensure that any team not making it to Q3 will have an advantage over those in front. If you get knocked out in Q2, you won't have used any soft tyres during qualifying, meaning you probably have two fresh sets ready for the race, assuming you use two sets during free practice, which is pretty common. The same is true if you get knocked out in Q1, you'll have two fresh sets of medium tyres and two fresh sets of soft tyres, giving you an advantage. Fresh tyres are faster and will last longer, meaning you can potentially do a pit stop less than your competitors, or lap faster over the same stint distance. In theory, this should help level the playing field, giving those who start outside the top 10 an advantage over those in front. Will it be enough to create a few shock point finishes? We'll have to wait and see. It could make qualifying more exciting as well, some cars perform better on one tyre compound compared to another. 
how well a car can get the tyres up to temperature could be much more important now. If you need a couple of laps to get your hard tyres working, then you may miss out on the chance of putting in a fast lap. Maybe we'll see a few shock Q1 exits in Imola. There are going to be some disadvantages as well though. Teams will normally use two sets of soft tyres during practice, and then will use two different sets during qualifying. What this could mean is that the top 10 drivers in qualifying all use the same tyre strategy during the race. If you don't have any fresh soft tyres, you might want to avoid going onto that compound, instead choosing to race on a one-stop medium to hard strategy. It's unlikely anyone will save a set of brand new soft tyres for the race start in an attempt to get one up over the rest of the field. So the new qualifying format might actually make race strategy even more one-dimensional than it already is. That has been a big problem with the racing this season, and this change could compound the issue. We'll have to wait until Sunday to know which way it goes though. What do you think will happen? Let us know in the comments. Perhaps your opinion is the same as the drivers. At the first qualifying session of 2023, a few of the drivers were asked what they thought of the upcoming changes. I hope it's not going to be cold in Imola, otherwise it's going to be quite tricky, said Red Bull's Max Verstappen. It's the same for everyone, but I don't think we need to actually do these kinds of things in qualifying. I don't really see the benefit of it. It's better if we make sure that all the cars are close to each other and more competitive instead of spicing things up in that way, which I think is probably for the show. Qualifying has been incredibly close this season, so if the change was just being done for the show, it definitely wouldn't make much sense. At the last race in Miami, the fastest and slowest times in Q1 were separated by 0.864 seconds. Lando Norris was knocked out in Q1 by just 0.069 seconds, and Alex Albon was knocked out in Q2 by just 0.231 seconds. The racing in qualifying couldn't really be any closer. Perez was no more impressed with the plan change than his teammate. I just think it's for the show. I think we don't need that, he said after the Bahrain qualifying. When you see the qualifying we had today, how close everything was, you don't really need to change anything. We'll see once we try it, but I don't think there's a need to change something that is working well. Ferrari Charles Leclerc added, I don't feel there was a need for change for that, but let's try and see. Of course, the drivers are never that happy about changes to the Formula 1 format or the cars, so it isn't too surprising to hear their complaints. We'll just have to wait and see what kind of difference the new qualifying rules make. This isn't the only tyre-related change that is happening in the coming weeks, though. A new specification of slick Formula 1 tyre will be used from the British Grand Prix in July, following the approval by the FIA of a request from tyre supplier Pirelli to introduce a new construction. Pirelli said the change was necessary based on the significant leap in car performance in the opening five Grand Prix of the 2023 F1 season, compared to simulation data provided to it by the teams before the start of the season. Performance that Pirelli said is likely to increase still further over the rest of the season. Its head of motorsport, Mario Azzola, cited the difference in pole laps from 2022 to 2023 at last weekend's Miami GP. Even with only one run in Q3, Pole sitter Sergio Perez's time of 1 minute 26.841 seconds was almost 2 seconds faster than Charles Leclerc's lap of 1 minute 28.796 seconds a year earlier, as evidence. Pirelli stated that the new specification will include materials that it planned to introduce in 2024. The new tyres will be available for teams to try as soon as the Spanish GP practice sessions at Barcelona at the start of June, before their full introduction at Silverstone the following month. The new compound should make the tyres more resistant to wear. Pirelli might want that, but I can't help but think that the change won't be good for racing. Teams are already favouring a one-stop strategy due to how little performance loss the current tyres have as they wear. This change may reduce the strategic options teams have even further, something that no one wants to happen. What do you think of the changes to the qualifying format? Are you excited, or is this just the FIA messing about with the sport again? Let me know your opinions in the comments, and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.